Hey, it's Mike. It is Thursday, and I have a video I've been very excited to do. Finally got all these cards in. You can hear my cat going crazy. Yeah. I, I should know better than to try to film a video at 3.30 at in the afternoon, because 3.30 is when he thinks it's time for dinner. It's not. And so he comes down here and just insists on us feeding him. I'm not going to. So he's just going to be out through my call, through my, through my video. So... Um, today is a mail day with some big, big returns, TTM and some cheap eBay returns. I'm going to start with the cheapest. We're going to work up to the biggest ones that the two that I'm really one that I'm most excited for. Um, I have, I bought these three, so I'm trying to collect all the Perez, <laughs> my cat, uh, I'm trying to collect all the Perez steel, uh, Donruss cards autographed of Hall of Famers and superstars um, and I have been looking for them on eBay and I found three for seven dollars each which is an unbelievable deal for Hall of Famers who are autographed and so I got them and two of them one of them looks great here's Lou Boudreau this is the uh, Hall of Fame heroes these are from 1984 I think 83, or I think that they came out in the 84 set. Maybe I'm wrong. It's, it's 83 or 84. Lou Boudreau looks great. Uh, Bob Lemon, his signature looks okay. But Luke Appling, boy. And shame on me for not noticing this in the listing. I went back after I got them and I looked. I just didn't notice. It's clearly like this in the photo. So my fault. But for seven bucks, I've got a Luke Appling autograph. Um, then I know I showed this on my Instagram. I don't think I've shown it here. Here's a Doc Gooden 86 Don Russ Diamond Kings autograph. Pretty excited to have that one, add that to my PC. And yeah, I do Instagram not nearly enough. I, I used to put out like five or six posts a week now it's like one or two here is another TTM return Andre Dawson 1988 Donruss Diamond Kings autograph of the Hawk and Raleigh Fingers TTM my first Raleigh Fingers autograph 1983 I think this is I mix up 82 and 83 Diamond Kings so excited to add those two via TTM. And then uh, this Goose Gossage I got on eBay, super cheap. I mean, cheaper than I would have gotten it for TTM. Why is it in this huge case? I don't know. That's what it came in. I'm going to take it out. But Gossage has a really cool auto. Really nice. I love that these are so ultra cheap, these uh, Diamond King autographs. They're just... So collectible and yet nobody else agrees, which is perfect for me. Uh, and then this Nomar 1997 autograph. It's not a rookie, but Nomar is one of those guys I'll basically take any autograph in a Red Sox uniform. Uh, this is my third Nomar auto, I think. So I'm really excited to add this. Nomar was my favorite, certainly one of my favorite players for about seven years. His first like seven years with the Red Sox. Just a, should have been a Hall of Famer. Probably took steroids, got injured, flamed out too early. So then uh, I've been on the lookout. <sighs> My cat is so loud. I've been on the lookout for Sue Bird rookie autographs. And uh, Sue Bird maybe the second greatest winner of all time behind Bill Russell. Uh, just an unbelievable resume. I'm just going to go through it here. She had four WNBA titles. She, of course, she was the first overall pick in 2002. She is was named to the WNBA's top 15 after 15 years, top 20 after 20 years, and top 25 after 25 years. She has five Olympic gold medals, two NCAA championships with the Yukon, four FIBA World Cup championships, 
five Euro League championships. She was an all-star 12 times. She was an all WNBA eight times. So a pretty staggering resume. I challenge you to find any other athlete who has m more winning. And I, I haven't given this a whole lot of thought. Don't get in my comments and yell at me. Bill Russell, I know. But I really do want to know if there's more. I haven't researched it. It's just a random thought I have. Anyway, uh, Sue Bird, her rookie card is uh, 2002 Fleer Update, I think, or 2003. And it's, it is pricey. It was a, um, uh, a redemption card that Fleer put in their packs back in that year, 2002 or 2003. And if you didn't redeem it, you couldn't get it. You had to redeem it within like a year or something. And so that's very, very short printed. Um, and that's not even autographed. So you're talking two to $400 for that card now. Not something I'm going to spring for. Uh, but I do want to get that card at some point, And then I would love to get it autographed. Her autographs are outrageously expensive. But I have a, an alert on eBay. One of the very few people I have an alert for for 2002 Sue Bird autographs, just to see what I can find. And uh, this one came up. I'm going to show you the card, and then there's also a bonus card that came with it and some other bonuses. So stick around here, and I'll show you those. Uh, so it's this oversized Team Medicine, and you can see it's not in great shape, Sue Bird autograph. Team Medicine, this, this card, not autographed, goes for like 40 bucks. I actually couldn't find any sales of this card, which was pretty amazing. It's, it's a very scarce card. Um, I don't even know if PSA will grade the card itself. I'll probably just get the, the autograph authenticated. I don't know. But, um, so this was put on eBay and I threw out a lowball offer like seriously low ball, thinking there was no way they would go for it, and they accepted it. So I was pretty psyched, and this was really what I was after, but there's there's bonus here too as well. But yeah, I couldn't find, I did quite a bit of searching, I couldn't find any comps for this card, even without the autograph. There are two of them for sale on eBay, one for I think 49 bucks, one for $45, but no, no recent sales. I looked on eBay and 130 point, or whatever that website is, and I googled it, if you can find any, that would be awesome. But this is, uh, the listings on eBay call it a 2002-2003. And it, it does appear to be 2003 because it says, tally your results and send them to the storm offices before July 31st, 2003. And they'll send you a game ticket. Uh, and they, this person actually mailed me, included with this, the game ticket that came with it. That's not one of the bonuses. They also sent me a photo of Sue Bird signing their card. I think this is how they're trying to prove it's authentic. It's fine. They had they they also said that they had uh, season tickets. But yeah, Sue Bird, very very rare, two thousand three ish autograph. But then they also included this Lauren Jackson, two thousand two. 2002 Fleer, Summer of Love, autograph. And Lauren Jackson is another Hall of Famer. Sue Bird, of course, isn't yet, but she will be. Lauren Jackson is not only in the, the WNBA Hall of Famer, the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, I think it's called. She is in the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. This isn't her rookie because she was first overall pick in 2001. Sue Bird followed her the next year as the number one overall pick. But here's Lauren Jackson's resume. Two WNBA titles, both with Sue Bird, 2004 and 2010, I think. Three MVPs. She led the league in scoring three times. She was the finals MVP in one of those two championships. Uh, it's not as impressive as Sue Bird's, but she also only played half the number of years. I think she retired after 2012. Sue Bird retired after 2022. She just retired last month. But yeah, so uh, as a collector of Hall of Fame autographs, Sue Bird, Lauren Jackson, these are awesome. I'm especially 
enamored with this Sue Bird. Uh, it's, I want all the Sue Bird autographs I can find on card, of course. So I was thrilled to get these two for a shockingly cheap amount. Plus a ticket. I was hoping that might be from Sue Bird's very first game, but it's actually a year later. Um, so that's all. What's your favorite? Let me know in comments. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching.